Hello, it is A Nikki B on the scene and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another beat with me. Yeah, so Doja Cat and Noah Snap, 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 they got into a little tussle. Like, I think probably like a week ago or something like that. But basically, she was trying to talk to Noah and be like, yo, I like your co-star, which is the Joseph Quinn guy. The one that played um Eddie in the show. I think he did a phenomenal job. If you haven't watched Stranger Things 4, watch it. Doja hit up Noah and they basically was talking with each other because she was asking him like, hey, like what's his Instagram? Because apparently she couldn't find him on Instagram or on social media at all. So she hit up Noah and I'm assuming that they were like, I guess, cool friends or whatever the case may be. And she was like, yeah, like, can you put me on? So Noah was like, cool, I guess he was gonna put her on but he ended up posting their dms that doja was like wtf like why are you posting that and he thought it was a joke so pretty much that whole situation blew up and i don't even know if you guys know this but she ended up losing 200 000 followers i think on instagram and then noah ended up gaining like literally a million in like less than a couple of days i thought that was like freaking hilarious because like people are just crazy so he posted it to his story and she got really mad so she called him out on it and eventually he ended up apologizing she accepted it and, and i don't know if she apologized yeah she did apologize for what she said because she was like you know kind of going off a little bit but for good reason but then people was giving her a lot of flack noah is 17 i think it, he is yeah i think he's 17 and doja cat is 26 so a lot of people were like well why are you a 26 year old woman reaching out to a minor trying to get him to connect you with somebody else da, da, da. and then people are saying well you're a grown woman why couldn't you just use your connections to find this you know to find the actor and try to hit him up and everything like that so people are just giving her all of that and honestly i don't know what goes on i feel like if i was in doja cat's position i would definitely use my connection to find that person i just feel like naturally you will want to be a cia when you find somebody that you like, you gonna figure it out. It was just a little odd that she didn't even think that because I don't know if she's even aware that she's Doja Cat. Like, I don't know, maybe maybe she doesn't have all the connections that you think that she does. But I don't know, I feel like at her stardom, she should. Like, there's no excuse. And it's, and it's Instagram, it's social media, he's an actor, like, at this point, most actors have social media. They're gonna be on it, you know? Especially right now, it's like, it's really important to have something like that. And now when you go into like casting agencies, now they're asking you how much followers you have on social media. It's like, how much followers I have? Why does it matter? But now it matters, you know? Cause they want more people, they wanna make more money. So you can't, you can't tell me you couldn't find it. But there's something that she said that was really interesting. Cause I felt like it could have applied to her as well in considering the situation. So she said this about, no, I think there was like, like, during the time she was calling him out. The fact that Noah did that, went and posted a private conversation between me and him is so unbelievably socially unaware and whack. That's like borderline snake s. That's like weasel s. And I thought that was really interesting because I'm just like, you're saying he's socially unaware, you know, should have read the social cues. And I get that. I get that for me personally when i saw that i'm just like i don't see the humor in it i don't see the goofiness in it because he stated that he's a goofy person and he doesn't take social media seriously and that's absolutely fine but what was funny about posting that I, what was the humor what was the fun you know what i'm saying i'm looking for the ha 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 i didn't find the humor in that and i just thought it was really pointless and i i feel like a lot of people do that they just tend to just want to share everything that with or without people's consent they just want to share everything and i'm just like people need to stop doing that especially stuff that is really not worth sharing like we don't need to see that so i don't really understand his point to that like he tried to save himself but honestly there's no excuse for that so going to what she said of him being socially aware i think she herself is socially unaware it's like girl you are doja cat you like i said before you cannot tell me you don't know how to find somebody online or you don't have the connections to find this person like you i'm sorry i can't believe it i won't believe it you are doja freaking cat you are everywhere at this point a lot of people should know you by now like you literally had a song for the elvis movie that song was being played everywhere at this point so it's like you cannot tell me you cannot find this man and joseph he was on tiktok videos were surfacing on there he's on instagram his videos were surfacing on reels it's like at some point you had to figure something out but she thought the best the best solution was to hit up 
his co-star and use him to basically play Cupid with y'all. Like, come on. Come on, girl. I don't think you was being socially aware. Overall, I just think this situation just remind me of too many personal stories of mine back in my day because I do know what it feels like to tell somebody something, you know, something that you feel is personal to you and they go behind your back and spread it to the world like it meant nothing. So I can understand her obvious feelings for it because regardless of him being, it's not like she, the people was like, oh, he's a minor, why you reach out to him? She wasn't trying to talk to him. So let's keep that out the windows. And not that she was trying to talk to him, she was just trying to say, hey, put me on to do me over there. Why are you going to share it? And like I said, I just think that's such a huge problem in our society right now. Like everybody feels like they need to share every single thing. It's like people are going to save it. They're going to watch it. They're going to do everything going to do with that information. It's like, why are we constantly sharing every little thing? We don't have to. But they say they cool now. Like I read the article, he apologized, she apologized. They cool now. And he said that he loves her music. So whatever, they cool. But I just didn't understand the, you know, the hate that she was receiving because people was like really upset at her like super upset it was like oh my god why is she acting like that duh, duh. oh why are you coming for him you shouldn't be told it's like Make it up. relax she has every reason to be upset if i was in her shoes if you were in her shoes you would be upset when you just take it to the simplest term somebody went behind your back and did something that you did not consent to quick little story it was in elementary school me and this girl, I'm gonna say her name. Her name is Landis. Cool girl. But I remember one time we was on the phone and I think we had a little three ways. So I think it was like three of us on the phone. It was just one boy in our class. I guess you say he was cute. He was uh, he was cute. Okay. And basically we was just all sharing like our oh like you know, I like him too. We all we all had a crush on him. So we was just all just talking about it. Me thinking that okay, my secret is safe with them. I'm just like, all right, we all share the same opinion that we find this one student attractive. So it's like, all right, cool. The next day, keep in mind we're in fifth grade at, at this point. We're in fifth grade. But the next day at lunch, they call me over to the table. Landis calls me over to the table. And it's like a couple other girls too. And I think like one other boy. And I remember, he, and a boy named was Eli. And I remember he was sitting there and just staring. And I'm like, why are you calling me over to the table? I was like really confused. So I will go over to the table. I sit down. And then she was like, tell him. Tell him what? And then she was like, tell him that you like him. And I, when I tell you, I was too stunned to speak. I, had a, I, was, I was at a loss for words. I was like, and I lied. <laughs> I lied to her face, to the other girl. I think the other girl that we were on the phone with that night, that night before she was there. I lied to everybody. And I think they knew I was, well, they obviously knew I was lying. But I think he knew I was lying. But I lied. I was like, oh, no, I don't like him. I never said that. I never said that. But I did it because I felt betrayed. And I didn't know why they wouldn't even know especially specifically her because she the one who initiated the conversation because it was something that we would do like every other night we'll call each other up and then talk about the guys we liked in class or whatever so it was kind of like a casual thing that we did with each other but i don't know what happened this particular day that she just felt like she wanted to expose me and it's like even though we never really like discussed that it was a secret it's something that you just feel like okay if i could tell you something you know respect me you know respect me in my absence i was definitely embarrassed i lied to their faces and i walked away i understand where doja cat is coming from and there's plenty of stories where that came from i'm not going to dish it out all here but you get what i'm saying even if we were joking about something that doesn't mean I want you to share the conversations we're having unless I say, hey, unless you come to me and ask me, like, yo, can I share this? Isn't that funny? I just think it's funny, da da, and I'm okay with it, and cool, you can share it. But if you're not coming to me and telling me or anything like that, then it's like, you don't respect me. But like I said, they, they squashed it. Me and my past, I don't think we ever really squashed it. I don't think there's nothing was ever like reconciled in that, but I just kind of just walked away and had to live in embarrassment for like the rest of my school year. But even though like I know he didn't like me at all. He did not, no, we were fifth graders. Nah. It was definitely awkward moving forward because we were in the same class, me and Eli. I think at some point we sat next to each other, our desk got moved. So it's like here and there we were talk, but I just feel like the relationship was just awkward. It's like at that point I just wanted to be his friend, but then he was just doing him. I don't know. It was really weird. Yeah, that's all I have to say really about the situation. 
there's not really much else to go off on. I mean, it's about done now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back again with another one.